Today we popped over to Melbourne RVs in Bayswater, Victoria, and we had the pleasure of looking at a Sunliner Switch S442, so come along. Today we're looking at a Fiat Ducato based S442. Now as standard these days, there is the black pack, which used to be an optional extra, which gives it road presence. You'll see the windows, which denote a high Luton for sleeping. Storage wise, you can see there is a storage tub in front of the habitat door, a picnic table and a storage tub with louvers for the battery on the rear, as well as the toilet cassette here. And when you swing around to the right hand side, you can see your entry point for tank water. You can see your hot water system, another small storage tub, and then this narrow but deep storage area under the slide out for the bed, which would be good for picnic tables or chairs, etc. You'll then see a tub forward of that with the red plaque denoting storage for the two by four kilo gas tubs, the town water, and the outdoor shower and venting for the fridge. Stepping up into the motorhome, you'll see the 175 litre fridge in front of you, and immediately drawn to the double bed over the Luton with reading lights, accessible windows, safety net, and curtains. And then you can also see reading lights in the cab, and this bed will actually push up on gas struts out of the way when not in use. You can see that there's storage under the dinette seat and it's hinged storage. Moving rearward, you'll see that the double bed slide out is out and you have plenty of cupboards in here. They are a little bit shallow, but there's plenty of shelving and plenty of space. You have a full length wardrobe, which is the dark colored. And you see upper cabinetry as well. And then you have a multi-adjustable TV bracket and you have the little black thing is with the USB and Bluetooth. Above the bed, more cabinetry, more reading lights, little nooks. Now lastly, moving rearward to the full ensuite, you'll notice that there is a provision for a washing machine, but if you don't order this, that'd be great storage. The toilet cassette is on the rear wall, followed by a full-size shower with plenty of niches and shelving for storage, as well as cupboards. And lastly, we'll look at some still photos showing some features. On the left, you will see all your switches as you walk in, and on the right, you'll see your extendable kitchen bench. The right is niches in the kitchen, with the left being your bed slide out actually in. You have your outdoor shower, your battery and electric storage area. Under the awning shows your external speakers, your LED strip lighting, and at the rear, you can just see the silver stabilization legs sticking out. Well, that's it. Don't forget to subscribe if you liked what you saw, and don't forget to tell us what you thought. See you next time.